if you're a cougar fan, if you're a mercury fan, you're going to want to hang around and see this one. <laughs> Tired of this old house, gotta get out. Gonna get a little bit loud. Cold drinks and friends all around. Headed to the lake. Hey guys. So, today's the first day of the Cougar build. The car sitting right up, car sitting right over there. We pulled it out of the uh, pulled it out of our place of slumber. And uh, today, I'm gonna be starting on the engine. Oh, I had. I talked about I had this engine here sitting in a uh, in a storage unit, and uh, it's a fresh motor. It uh, it's never been ran, but you see, sitting in a storage unit, it's got some surface rust on things, and uh, it's been sitting over there uh, probably a year and never been touched. So, for my peace of mind, I'm opening it up. And go go through it and make sure everything on the inside looks good. Everything on the inside still looks good. Uh, and then we're gonna put it in the car. But there's a few things after I built this motor that I wish I'd done differently. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of those. So that's on today's agenda is the motor. First off, motor's over. I'm putting a uh, laying some fresh paint down on the block and all. The heads. This is one of the reasons that made me take it apart because I was seeing a little surface rust out here from sitting. Uh, but they're actually, uh, you can see everything's actually fairly clean on the inside of them. All this is brand new, new springs and all. Um, one of the things I'm going to do is, this 302 I'm building, but these are 289 heads. And they're actually uh, pretty, have pretty good compression heads on it. I think with these heads on it and the motor zero deck, I think I was going to be somewhere around 10 and a half to 1. Uh, so the compression was going to be there. Um, but I'm thinking now I may actually put a set of aluminum heads on it instead. Um, I don't know for sure yet. I may still run these heads cause there's nothing wrong with them. Um, uh, and this is going to be a daily driven street car. So it's not going to be a performance car. And I think it's a mistake that I made in, in the beginning and I will, and, and I'll go over all that. Water pump, brand new water pump, but it had started surface rusting a little bit. Um, it, it's never even had a pulley or, or uh, yeah, it's never even had a pulley or, or belt or anything on it. So uh, it's never been ran, but it's a brand new water pump. Uh, but things like this is the reason I tore, tore the motor down. One of the things that is changing is when I first built this thing, I had put an HEI distributor in it. Uh, I did that because a friend of mine had one that was brand new in the box and he had never used it. It was a free part. So uh, free parts is always great parts. Um, despite what a lot of people uh, say and a lot of people give them shit and all, they work fine. And uh, there's there's no issues with them, with running them other than this giant calf on top of them. But that's coming out now because I have a good, um, I have a good distributor that's going back in it. Um, Double roller timing chain is probably going to stay again brand new. It's never even been made a full revolution in the motor. Um, I thought about going to a timing gear, but again, I don't think I need it. One of the biggest changes I'm going to make is the cam. I pulled the cam and lifters out again, all the similar loops still on it. Uh, this thing had never even been turned in the motor. Um, and just so you know, when I took it out, all these lifters are in order and I know what order they're in. Uh, it, not that it matters since the motor's never been turned over, but the cam is gonna change. And uh, we'll talk about why I'm doing some of these Here's changes. Here's the second reason why the big gnarly cam was a bad idea. All of this walks off of engine vacuum and runs over and hooks to the engine, the vacuum line right there. You guys know, big gnarly cams don't make any vacuum in a motor. So, this is gonna be a street car, we need the headlights to work and stuff. When I started out building this, I think I was building it a lot like it was gonna be my car. 
Um, the motor's got a good overbore in it. Got some good compression pistons in it. Put some good heads on it. Get some decent compression out of it. And got a big old cam, big snarly cam to drop in it. Um, and actually, uh, had a good intake and uh, even had uh, lined up a 2.4 intake to go on this thing. And I was building it like it was mine. At the end of the day, this car is from a mom. It's going to be, uh, we're going to try to get it done as a retirement present for her. Uh, this car she learned to drive on, really, not really learned to drive on, but it was one of the first cars she, she drove. So we're going to try to get this car done as a retirement present for her. Uh, I think we can knock it out fairly quick. You can see the motor is uh, sitting there waiting on me to start slamming parts back in it. And uh, so I had to make some choices. Since it's been sitting a while, it gave me the opportunity to reevaluate the situation and think about what the car is going to be used for. If I was putting money on things, you know, she retires in a couple months. If I was putting money on anything, this car would be driven to the grocery store and church on Sunday. We don't need a big snarly cam and a 2-4 intake. And, dude, I got 12-inch wide tires on the back of this car right now. We don't need all that to drive to the grocery store. Although it would be much more fun. But for a retired lady, I don't think that's exactly what she's looking for. So I'm having to go back and reevaluate some things. I'm going to change the cam up in it, go a little more mild in it. I may change the heads in it. And the reason I said I may change the heads to an aluminum set of heads is, honestly, it'll bump the compression uh, back down a little bit. Uh, I can probably buy a set of aluminum heads with uh, bigger chambers and bump the compression uh, to like nine and a half to one instead of ten and a half to one. Now I don't think the ten and a half one the compression will hurt anything. That's where I'm sitting here doing some debating in myself because I wanted to be able to run pump gas, and I think at ten and a half to one you can run pump gas. I think eleven and a half and twelve is where you start getting into some. You're going to have to run a, a really expensive fuel in it. I think ten and a half to one would be fine, uh, but it would probably be a lot tamer and a lot uh, a lot more enjoyable on the street at nine and a half to one. So that's something I'm gonna wrestle with over the next day or so and go through as I think about what I wanna do. Now I'm waiting on some parts. Uh, ordered some parts uh, yesterday and they are supposed to be here uh, either this evening or first thing in the morning. Shout out to Summit for that because they're always super fast with delivery. Um, we're waiting on some uh, some new rockers. We're waiting on some. Uh, uh, I'm putting brass uh, freeze plugs and all in it instead of these tin plugs and all. Um, waiting on those. Waiting on some. I'm doing a head stud kit in it. Um, waiting on the ARP head studs. Uh, there's a few little things that I'm waiting on to to finish this thing off, but. Uh, so we got some changes we're going to make to the engine and make this thing a much more street friendly car because as much as I would like to get out and raise hell and play in this thing, it's not about me and it's not what I want. It's, it's her car. So, uh, I got to step back and, and take evaluation of what I'm actually doing with it. So, uh, yeah, let's get back into it. Uh, so we're shutting her down for today. Uh, the short block is built. I'm waiting on two little pieces to come in, uh, like I said earlier, and once those couple of little pieces get in, then we're gonna slam it back together. One hit, one thing we have decided to change here in the uh, uh, 11th hour, if you will, is I'm changing heads. Not keeping these heads, I'm changing heads to a different head. Um, I started disassembling one right there, and uh, I'm not keeping these heads, so. Uh, but not, not to worry about it. If I stay with uh, production iron heads, I've got about 12 different sets. So I'll just go pick a set and start over. But uh, I'll 
dive into what the issue with that is later. But as of right now, the short block is together and uh, I'm out for today. So y'all stay tuned. The car is getting built. together i need to put another coat of paint on the oil pan uh, give it that old 70s mild on look uh but i'm waiting on the uh bolt kit for the water pump and yeah then it'll be ready to be ready to go in the car but i'm gonna strip this engine bay and paint the engine bay and all before i put it in there so that's where we at we're four days into the project we've got the motor built it's a 310 cubic inch uh, 302 based Ford small block for those that haven't been listening, um, following along. And it's going to go into our 67 Cougar. So we're almost there. Um, uh, again, uh, probably uh, tomorrow and Thursday is going to be uh, busy days for me. So probably Friday, uh, the engine bay will be stripped and cleaned and painted. And then the engine will finally go in the engine bay and get bolted down, and we'll see what happens from there. So it's been it's been a, a long few days, but we've got the motor bill um, going in the engine bay. I took a couple of days off the project. Uh, I say it's day four, but I really only got about two and a half days actually in the project right now. Uh, I took a couple of days off and. Uh, so the engine bay's getting ready to be prepped and painted and then the engine can go in and honestly uh i'm just not feeling it right now and i'm tired and i've got other things on my mind so um uh, it's hard to concentrate so i'm just going to call it quits for today and go in the house and be done with it go ahead and upload this video and then there'll be a part two after i get everything else done so uh, you'll get to see the start of the process through to the end. So, but just not all in one video. So, here it is. Um, this is where we are now, and hopefully, um, probably Friday, I'll be back on it, and uh, maybe over the weekend, um, I'll have everything buttoned up and we'll see it run. But who knows? Uh, it all depends on the weather too, because as you can see, most of the cars sticking outside and not inside, and I, I, it just is what it is right now. Uh, kind of preoccupied. It's not the best time to be doing this stuff. So I'll catch y'all later.